Hey everybody, welcome back to Joe Blog Home Services. Uh, today I'm at a house that it's in the middle of a contract, or I think it's already been signed. Um, the owners are moving in next month, so I have one month to finish all my work. Uh, this one's kind of a punch list. You've seen punch lists before. Uh, this one's a little bit different. Um, and the owners aren't here, which makes life a lot easier just because it's a wide open house. Um, completely empty. I don't have to worry about uh, moving around people's things or whatever. Um, so I have to insulate this wall and drywall it. I have to insulate that wall and drywall it. This is a room that was built into a garage. I will be hanging a new garage door opener. Um, I also have some patches I'll be doing after the plumbers are done um, to patch up all the holes that they make. Um, I replaced a deadbolt here um, a while ago, you guys probably saw the video on it. I still have to replace that handle. I have a handle for the sliding door I have to replace. Um, and I think that's about it. It's a pretty simple but time consuming job. Um, so I'll let you guys watch as much of that as I can video and we'll see how it goes. Should be pretty simple. Um, might be fun to watch. It's kind of monotonous to do, but um, it's all stuff I've done before. Uh, there's also a stucco repair I just remembered that I'll have to do uh, that's up kind of high. So I'll show you guys uh, best I can. Hope you like it. All right, it's all insulated. Next step on this is to put in drywall. Um, I noticed that the customer got the door handle, so I can do that. I can do the sliding glass door handle. So I have a couple of things to do. I'm gonna try to draw, hang some drywall right now. We'll see how it goes. Takes. Pretty simple. I know I only put five screws in. Uh, you only need two to hold a piece of drywall. Now, you have to put a lot more than that in to mount drywall properly, but when you're working alone, two, piece, two screws are really all it's needed to hold it in place while you get the rest of the screws in. <clears throat> and I didn't learn that on the internet. It's just from trial and error and figuring out what exactly I have to do in order to get it to hold up because I work alone a lot. That's all that's necessary.
for the ocean After those two screws, it's not a bad idea to murder it with screws. <clears throat> not that it does uh, that you need that many, but um, I don't like walls to come loose ever. So once these are up, and this thing screwed in like somebody was angry at it, uh, mudding and taping, there should never be any movement again. Now if somebody slams like throws another human into the wall, it might move a little. Um, but that's not because of my drywall, that's because of their studs. So I have some drywall up and figured out I didn't buy enough, so I have to buy more. I have to cover that spot and that small spot up there. Um, that's only one sheet, so really not a big deal. Uh, and I'd really rather buy less than I need than buy more than I need um, because I don't feel like returning it. So I'll go tomorrow before I come here and get one more sheet of drywall. I'm at the 
Hey y'all, so I'm sick. I have a cold or flu or something. Um, basically, I'm congested. Um, it's in my head. Got a headache. Uh, I have full body aches. Uh, it has, in the past two days, moved into my chest to where I'm coughing up a bunch of crap. Um, I'm exhausted. I feel like crap. I don't feel like working. I don't feel like doing anything, which is odd for me uh, because usually my downtime is just to work. Um, so with all that being said, let's texture a wall. Uh, I'll let you guys watch it. Um, I'm doing a orange peel texture on this wall. I'm using a hopper and a compressor. Um, I mixed it already, the texture. Um, I'll let you point it into the, the camera, into the bucket so you can see the consistency, if you can tell from looking at it. Um, it's like a light pancake batter. Um, there's really a wide range of what you can do with the consistency for the texture um, and also um, the settings on your compressor do matter for this. Uh, I'm going to use a paint shield to try to block the door and the ceiling as much as possible. The ceiling's popcorn so it's really not that important um, but I'm going to try to block as much as I can. Uh, you might see me get worn out by holding two things at once and just use the hopper. Uh, when you see me do that, if you see me do that, um, just understand that I'm paying pretty close attention to where my spray is going and so um, just because I might not be holding a shield up doesn't mean I'm not um, doesn't mean I'm over spraying everything I'm not um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to it and let you guys watch as much as you want to I'll probably speed some of this up oh consistency here let me show you that real quick that's texture I mix it myself so you can see when I tip it, it's a little bit runny. Um, I don't know if you can tell that, but there. Now you can see it's runny. Um, not super runny, but enough that it's gonna level itself out either way. Anyway, that important. <coughs> so when the hopper is connected to the compressor, um, air blows out of it continuously. Um, you have to have a compressor rated for uh, tools like this. Um, that's where the CFM comes into play when you're reading the um, specs on your compressor, when you're buying a compressor. Um, my hopper is just from Harbor Freight. It's not a really expensive one, but I don't do this very often. And um, there's a lot of times you'll see me shaking the hopper while I'm doing this. And that's because uh, it gets a little gummed up and doesn't want to take all the texture down into it. And uh, well, I need it to take as much texture as possible. I gotta get this stuff sprayed on. <coughs> All right. Hopefully, I don't block your view too much. Um, I'll show you in the meantime while this uh, right before I change everything up uh, what the texture looks like so you can see nice and close that's the texture that's uh, orange peel 
So of course you go over this with sandpaper after it dries up. Um, extremely lightly though. It's not, you don't go over it with an electric sand or anything. It's just one piece of sandpaper in your hand and just one pass usually does it. And all you're doing is knocking down any um, high points and just, you know, bringing like a natural curve to it, which is the same as uh, an orange peel texture inside. I'll see if I can find one. Um, this one's a little bit heavier, so I'd want to really show you that. Um, this is closer to it. So this is an orange peel texture as well. Um, this one's medium. Um, this one that I was talking about is a little heavy. I'll show it to you, but it's not what I'm going for. Um, this is the texture that they used. Um, these are the people that built the room. Uh, but there's a lot of things that they didn't do right building this room. Uh, one of those is the fact that you can see their tape. And um, with when I put the uh, walls up on the outside of this room, there was a lot of duct tape in between the um, drywall and the studs. Um, so I can only imagine what they used for tape when they taped the drywall. Um, if they duct taped it, it wouldn't surprise me. And um, it's obviously not proper. I, whatever. Um, this is why I usually can't refer uh, other businesses to people that do this the same kind of work as I do, is because I see that kind of stuff. And well, if I see that, I'm definitely not going to refer their business because that's the most ridiculous thing in the world. Um, so I'm going to move the camera over here so you guys can watch this side of it. Um, I have to finish up just this small side. And then uh, once the texture's on, uh, I have to wait for it to dry, of course. And so I'm gonna go do some other projects because, you know, it doesn't really matter how I feel. I still need to get a job done. I'm using the paint shield on this stuff, this side on the top, because this is a garage door and I really don't want to texture the garage door. Probably doesn't matter, but to me it does. So it's just not nice. Nice thing to do, in my opinion. some work in the attic I have to do um, and so I'm gonna do that while the texture is drying once the texture is dry I'll come back with uh, sandpaper and sand it um, and then hopefully paint it today we'll see um, if I paint it I'm using uh, a primer probably an oil base because I think that's all I have on me which is really good stuff um, and I'll be using my sprayer because I'm just not in the mood to roll or brush or whatever uh, so uh, that's all for now, and I will talk to you guys another time. See ya.